Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in today's video, we will understand how to send automated WhatsApp message to Facebook leads for jewelry industry. So here let's assume that I have a jewelry store and as this is a festive season, I wish to send an automated WhatsApp message to my customers. So now my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I wish to send an automated WhatsApp message to that lead. So here to build an integration, I will be using Pabli Connect where my trigger application will be Facebook and my action application will be WhatsApp. So to send the WhatsApp message, here I'm using Interact. You can use any other application as well. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to send an automated WhatsApp message to Facebook leads for jewelry industry. So here let's assume that I have a jewelry store and to promote my jewelry store, I'm using Facebook lead ads. So here my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead. Now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. So this here is the all applications page where Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. This here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So here in this dialog box appearing, I will give my workflow a name. So I have named my workflow as send automated WhatsApp message to Facebook leads. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I have created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action. So now moving to my use case, that is to send an automated WhatsApp message to Facebook leads for jewelry industry. So moving to my trigger window, as I'm promoting my jewelry store with the help of Facebook lead ads. So here in my trigger window, I'm going to use Facebook lead ads as my trigger application. And the trigger event will be new lead instant. So the moment I will receive a new lead, then automatically this workflow is going to run. So as I want to send an automated WhatsApp message to my Facebook leads. So here in this action window, I will be using interact to send the WhatsApp message. So here I'm searching for interact and here it is. And the action event will be to send WhatsApp template message. So as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event along with the action application and the action event. So here my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead. So now to do this, firstly, I will go to my trigger window and now here I will establish a connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads in one of the tabs. I've already logged into my Facebook account and here you can see that the authorization is successful. So here you can see that Pabli connect and Facebook lead ads is successfully connected. So now after the connection established, I need to select the page and the lead gen form that is associated with it. So here in Facebook, this is the page that I've created for my store that is by the name of the jewelry store. So firstly, in Pabli Connect, I'm going to search for my page by the name of the jewelry store. Here it is. And now I need to select the lead gen form that is associated with it. So here in Meta Business Suite, I have created two lead ads form. So here, this is the lead ad form which I want to use. And this is how the form looks like. So the name of this lead ad form is the jewelry store new leads. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select the lead gen form. So here as I've selected my page and the lead gen form that is associated with it. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I did that here, you can see that it is waiting for a webhook response, which means now I have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in this webhook response. 
Now to do a test submission, I'm going to take you to Meta for Developers page. So here in this new tab, I'm going to search for Meta for Developers. And now I will go to the page. So in Meta for Developers, I will go to My Apps. In My Apps, I will go to Tools. And in this Developer Tools, I will scroll down and go to this Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. So this here is the Lead Ads Testing Tool. And this tool is going to test our integration. So here you can create a test lead to confirm that your integration is set up to receive data correctly. So here firstly, I'm going to select my page. So I'm searching for my page over here. And here it is. Now I need to select the form that is associated with it. So that is by the name of the jewelry store new leads. Now I'm going to click on preview form. So this is how the form looks like. And in these fields, I've already filled in the details. So here I've added the full name, phone number and the email. Now I'm going to click on next. I will click on submit and it says, thanks, you are all set. I will close this. So here you can see that your test lead has been sent. That means this test lead would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So I will take you to Pabli Connect. And here you can see that I've received a response. Here is the full name, phone number, email, created date and time, along with some other details. So the details of the test lead, which I've just created is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically that lead will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So now moving further, as I've got the details, now I wish to send an automated WhatsApp message to Facebook leads. So here in this action window, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Interact and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now I will add a new connection. So to add a new connection, I need to mention the secret key and read this instruction given below carefully because this will help you to get the secret key. So now I will take you to my Interact account. I will go to my profile. And in my profile, I will go to developer setting. And in developer setting, this here is the secret key. So I'm going to copy the same. And now here in Pabli Connect, I will paste it and then I will click on save. So here you can see that Interact and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to these fields of country code, phone number and the full phone number. So here in full phone number, I'm going to map it from the response that I've received from Facebook lead ads. So here I've mapped the full phone number. So as it completely follows the format that is given over here, that is why I have mapped the full phone number in this field. If you would have received the country code and phone number separately, then you need to mention in these separate fields. So as it follows the proper format, so I've mapped the full phone number in this field. Now moving to template code name and the language code. So for this, I will take you to my Interact account. So this here is the template which I have created. So this here is the message which I want to send to the Facebook lead. It goes as dear. Thank you for reaching out to us. We have received your details. Our team will connect with you within two hours. You can check out our website abcr3pavlitudes.com to know more about our services. Regards marketing team. So here in this message, you can see that there is this curly bracket. So this here is the variable which will keep on changing accordingly. So here after dear, I want to mention the name of the lead that I will receive through Facebook lead ads. So here whenever a new lead will be received through Facebook lead ads, then, then automatically after dear in this curly bracket, the name of that new lead will be appearing. So now here, as I want to mention the template language and the template code. So the template language is English. So firstly, I'm going to give the language code that will be EN. So now moving to the template code name. So here in interact in this URL. So this here is the template name. So I'm going to copy the same and in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste it. So once template code name and language code is done, now moving to the body variable values. So as in my template, there was a variable. That means after dear, I wish to add the name of the Facebook lead. So here I'm going to map the lead name from the response that I've received. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now scrolling down here, I'm going to click on save and send test request to see the response. 
Here I have received the response and it is a positive response. Now I will show you the WhatsApp message as well. So this here is the message. Here after dear you can see the name of the Facebook lead. Here is the body and here is the regards. So that means an automated WhatsApp message has been successfully sent to the lead. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now whenever a new lead will be received through Facebook lead ads, then an automated WhatsApp message will be sent to that lead by using Interact. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.